Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> continuing with our discussion on Cisco Eyes. In this video, we will do a couple of interesting, uh, let's call them as prerequisites, you know, as we proceed with our next set of videos. And I've been getting quite some requests on these two things. One is, um, how do we, uh, you know, add a root certificate, you know, to Eyes? And the second one is, how do you integrate Eyes with Active Directory? So these are two couple of interesting use cases uh, or maybe a couple of tasks which we have to do day in and day out and uh, you know I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes to show that in this quick video all right so uh, <clears throat> uh, what I mean by adding a certificate is that you see here uh, up my URL right now my browser is not uh, you know uh, trusting uh, the ice right the ice web server right the reason is because ICE is kind of uh, using a self-signed certificate. So how do you get rid of this? Because in a production environment, you know, environment, you really don't wanna have something like this, right? So, um, yeah, so let's go down to, uh, let's get to business. There's nothing much of a technical theory around here, all right? So um, we just need to go about uh, configuring it. So let me go down to certificates, administration and certificates. So here under certificates, you know, we let's go down to, um, trusted certificate and here we will have to kind of like import what we'll have to import uh, alright so first thing we do is we go down to uh, import right so we got to import the root certificate but do I have a root certificate so what I have done is let me show you my uh, uh, let me show you my domain controller right in my domain controller I have a bunch of things I have set up DNS server I have set up the active directory and I also have set up the certificate authority so all the three services are kind of like set up on my domain controller which means I can now go down to my local host search serve and I'll be basically getting uh, I'll get a web uh, UI kind of to play around with my uh, certificate authority pretty easy right so uh, how do we uh, get the root certificate you just go down to download a CA certificate and select the base uh, 64 download CA certificate there you go so we have it so which means now we can come down to my uh, uh, trusted certificates over here import uh, what do we import let's go down to downloads let's select this okay so let's call this as the CA root right so we have selected that maybe let's select everything here we are basically going to be using this particular certificate for everything right so that looks good and let's submit So there you go. So we have, uh, you know, kind of successfully imported it, uh, imported the CA certificate. Now the next step, what we got to do is pretty interesting. So we go down to uh, certificate signing request, right? So now what we are going to do next is we are basically making ICE kind of uh, generate or create a certificate uh, signing request, right? And that will be then signed by our CA server. And once that is signed, we will then import that certificate to our ICE. Right, so couple of steps here, but if you observe carefully, I think it's pretty simple. So let's go down to, um, you know, create or generate a CSR. Here you have multiple options, like um, I would want to use just one certificate for all these services, but if you are probably in an enterprise network, if you are in a production network, I would suggest you to use different certificates for different, you know, services like PXGrid and EEP and, you know, BYOD and so on, but since it's a lab environment I'm basically going to use one certificate so I'm basically going to select multi use here there's another option here called allow wildcard certificate so this is basically used if I intend to have more ice nodes right in my environment I've spoken about that in the previous video you can have multiple pan nodes you can have multiple MNT or PSN and so on right so when you have multiple nodes you would want to use one single certificate for all those guys so that's where you can kind of like generate wildcard CSRs right right now I'll not go for this because I just have one node so I'm going to select the node which is ice the FQDN uh, it automatically gets um, filled so you don't have to do anything organization unit probably I can go with something like I don't know maybe IT organization itself could be like bitsplease.com maybe right uh, state let's go with some California I think my time zones everything is US so I'm basically gonna go with um, <clears throat> US and uh, that looks good 
Now the SAN, the SAN is important. So you could, uh, uh, we'll have to use the DNS name. What will be the DNS name for our, uh, you know, uh, I, so it's going to be I start uh, uh, bits, please dot com right uh, maybe let's also add one more for the IP address as well right so san otherwise this kind of gives you errors so let's give as much as information as possible so 172.16.32.102 so basically I'll have to run this ice always on this particular server otherwise it will the, the certificate will again start screaming right so that's good so we have given all the information we need um, and this one let's keep it as is SHA-256-2048 all of that looks good so now we are in a place to go and generate okay so it's generated now let's export you can see here it is generated so let's see what is there in downloads there you go so let's open this I think I can open this in a notepad probably yep so there you go it's a huge certificate let me select all of this Control C, right? And let's come down to my certificate authority again. This time, let's go back one step. We are not going to download a CA, rather, we are going to request a certificate. So let's go to advanced uh, certificate request. Over here, you can see I have already created a template for my eyes, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So, how do you create a template for your eyes? It's pretty simple. Uh, you can, um, uh, when I say template for an eyes, it's mainly because, uh, like I said, different uh, certificates, uh, you can use different certificates for different roles, right, in ICE. For PX grade, you can use different, for, for BYOD, you can use a different certificate and so on. Uh, so different certificates has, let's call them attributes, their own attributes, right. So if you look at my certificate authority over here, uh, this is, uh, so these are basically all the certificate templates. So Active Directory, uh, you know ships with some default set of templates right um, so what I did was I basically ended took the web server certificate from here duplicated it and did a little bit of modification so that I can um, you know uh, create a ice certificate right and this certificate I'm probably going to use for all the services so um, and once you do that you will have to kind of uh, publish it so that you know it appears down here uh, where is that give me a second I think there's an error let me try to fix that all right so all right uh, I don't think that's a major issue so let's continue for now uh, so under your bits please dot com so this is my domain you'll see a certificate template here and once you have created that template it should start appearing here once you publish it it will start appearing here so now if I like I said right uh, you basically come and uh, paste whatever I selected earlier so there you go this is the CSR certificate signing request right I'm gonna use what my eyes certificate over here and I'm going to hit the submit button so once I do that let's go and uh, download the base uh, 641 let's download here uh, you know it gets downloaded here which is pretty good <coughs> now I can again go down to my <coughs> excuse me now I can again go down to my certificate signing request you'll see this one over here let's hit the bind button let's select the new certificate which got created right so once with that once you're done with that, you can probably give a name. Probably you can say um, signed by, let's say, bits, please. Or let's say signed by root. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now you need to select where this certificate is going to be used. So I'm going to use it for my admin, for my EAP authentication, for my radius. All right, PX screen as well and my portal right for all the portal related activities like byod and guest services all of those places we want portals right so uh, basically we're going to be using this for all the portals as well i'm going to hit the submit button here all right that's good and now if i'm not wrong it should go for a restart there you go the system will now restart and i'll be logged out um, you know so i'm going to pause the video now and uh, let's wait for the restart to complete. It'll take a few minutes because it's ice, right? It's pretty heavy. So once it is completed, I think we should be good to proceed with the next step. All right. Uh, looks like uh, uh, my ice has come up. So it's time to go and quickly check. Let's go down here. 
remember we can now either use the ip address or we can also use the domain name which we uh, i mean the uh, yeah so we can use directly i start the url right which we use so let's log in and you see i am not seeing the red mark here which means looks like my okay my password is wrong let's fix it okay interesting give me a second all right i was entering the wrong password that's fine so there you go now what we have fixed we have fixed the certificate error right you don't you no longer see it you can also click here and you can see it shows that the connection is secure you can also view the certificate right and you can see here the certificate was issued to ice.bitsplease.com issued by bitsplease.com which is nothing but my cs server and um, you know you can observe probably let's go to the sand field over here and you can see it has the dns name it also has the ip address right so that's how you kind of fix that error and kind of make uh, i mean kind of integrate your eyes with the pk of your enterprise uh, apart from that the other piece which i want to touch up over there is that you can also use your eyes also as a certificate authority in itself so that's that's another option which you have uh, and for that you'll have to explore the options which are sitting down here right but other than that uh, now you can see that we have right but now uh, now that that's fixed we can quickly have a look here as well you can see um, under the system certificates you can see the various services which are using the uh, ca certificate or the certificate which is signed by root right you can see that over here and all of these guys are basically using that uh, so now that is done let's go and do the second piece of our video which is integrating our eyes with the active directory again for active directory pretty straightforward we have our um, active directory set up over here right so we have the uh, domain here and i think uh, just to test this what i've done is uh, sorry this is not active directory let me just get rid of this yeah this is my active directory so uh, to test this what i've done is i believe i've created uh, let's go to bitsplace.com let's go to users yeah there you go so we um, i have created i think one user called alice just to see that if it appears on the other side right um, apart from that so uh, this is pretty straightforward you set set your own active directory um, and uh, it should have a domain controller in my case it is srv.bitsplace.com now that all of that is good so let's go down and do that so let's uh, in order to do that you have to go to identity management click on external identity groups or identity sources in fact uh, go down to active directory right this is the place where you join so you're gonna hit the add button here and this is this is going to be any name let me call this as bits please underscore active directory it, it's just a name right you can even change this i believe after you have added the active directory as well domain name is pretty simple bitsplace.com right that's the domain name of my active directory let's hit the submit now uh, <clears throat> We'll try to load and right, let's do uh, is it, it's asking me do you want to you know add all the ice nodes to this active directory or integrate all the add nodes i have said yes because i just have one node doesn't matter now this is the place where we gotta plug in the um, administrator um, of the active directory right the credentials of the active directory so administrator password is all right looks good you can also give organization and kind of like try to you know drill down if, if you have multiple say um, you know uh, under forest if you have multiple trees and multiple domains and if you want to kind of filter it down to a specific domain in the active directory you can use this field for since it's a lab i'm basically gonna integrate the whole thing there you go so it's completed look the color is green so um, that's pretty good so i've integrated that before that uh, just i just remember one thing I also want to show you guys a couple of, um, you know, troubleshooting mechanisms if this doesn't work. First is go check your clock, right? So make sure that the time on your eyes, right, um, the time zone and the time should be uh, same as the one on your active directory, right? You can see the time on my, this thing, it's pretty much same, right? So make sure that your active directory and your eyes are kind of in sync when it comes to time. Use the NTP and kind of sync it. Uh, the other one is uh, make sure that you run a NS lookup, right? Um, 
do it. Let's look up for say bitsplease.com because that's my domain. And there you go. So it should it should be able to reach the um, you know the domain controller. You can see here srv.bitsplease.com. That is my domain controller. So make sure these two things are working. Um, if these two things are working, then you should not have any issues with integrating your eyes with the Active Directory. Right? Pretty good. All right. So the last part which I want to show you here is uh, that is there's a pretty cool uh, diagnostic tool and uh, just to check if your ICE connectivity is good, right? Uh, it's been some time since I played around with the diagnostic tool. So you can basically run tests, right? And it's going to run some tests and it's going to reply back saying, you know, if everything is working fine. So that's something which you can test. But the other one which I want to show you is uh, the test user, right? So you select your uh, Active Directory and go to test user and put in the username. So remember I told you this is the user which I have created on my uh, uh, Active Directory called Alice, right? So I'm basically gonna use that username and use the corresponding password, right? So, and let's hit the test button and look at this. Our Active Directory was able to successfully, uh, you know, authenticate us using this particular credentials, which means our um, connectivity is pretty good, right? That ICE is able to talk to our, um, it's able to talk to my uh, Active Directory. The other thing is probably, uh, uh, let me also show you the other stuff, which is if you go down to the groups, you can now um, uh, see all the groups which are kind of, which can be retrieved out of bitsplace.com. So if I click on the retrieve button here, you basically end up getting all the groups which are configured obviously up there. Now, if I want to, obviously, I, I wouldn't want to use all these groups. I just want to use the one which I have created on uh, AD, right? That is bitsplace.com slash users slash security lab. So this is the group which is having the uh, Alice user, right? So I'm basically going to select that. And once I do that, you know, I can kind of like uh, by doing this and hit the save button. So I'm basically importing this group to my, uh, you know, uh, to my... Uh, ICE dictionaries, right? Which means from now on, if whenever I write authentication policy, right, I can kind of like use this particular group. I can say that, okay, authenticate a user if, uh, you know, uh, if, if he or she belongs to this particular group. So this is how I can use Active Directory, you know, is in my authentication policies, right? So hope that was useful. So I just wanted to make this quick video, a couple of uh, interesting points we touched upon. One is how do we deal with certificates? Uh, in ICE, right? How do you import a root certificate? How do you kind of like generate a CSR? How do you sign it? And then how do you import the signed certificate? And the other one which we saw was how to integrate your ICE with your Active Directory, right? Hope that was useful and uh, do come back for more videos, right? Thanks guys. Bye.